go ahead. Hi, I'm Lauren. I have a video game. I call it the Great Guinea Pig Escape. And I'm mainly using Scratch to the visual programming language developed by MIT. So, if you look at it, All right. there's uh, there we go. code here. So, this means when this flag here is clicked, I have a couple variables that I'm setting, and then okay. it's going to go to the it's going to the first, it's going to basically get set up, and then it's setting the timer, and then when it's touching the hand, like you just saw now, it's going to go to the X and Y position of the hand, and when it's, when the position is greater than 110, when the Y position is greater than 110, it's going to fall back down in, a, in, in the parachute while saying we. So, and then these are the keys for moving the energy. So if the right arrow is pressed, it goes to the right. And then yes. if the left arrow is pressed, it goes to the left. You guys have been waiting here all long enough. And then, you guys want to try playing this game? Awesome. It has three kids and here. The lettuce, oh, again, so we're setting a couple of variables. It's going to go to a random location up here, and then it's going to go down, and then it's just going to go down, and then if it's touching the guinea pig, it's going to change the count, which is up here, by one, and then it's going to pick a, and then it's going to, it's going to reset, go up to a random location up here, and fall down. And then if the count is equal to five, then it's going to, broad, then it's going to, Set the level to zero, and it's gonna, it's gonna, and it's gonna speed up. And then here, when it, when the hand receives the next level, it's gonna change the move by five. So again, this, the move is the speed of it. So it's going in a random direction of degrees, and then if the variable stop hand is equal to zero, then it's gonna move steps, and if it's on the edge, it's gonna bounce. Cool. And also, at the end of the script, if, if it receives the next level, mm -hmm. when it receives it, it's gonna ride to the metal, it's gonna switch to the first costume, and then it's gonna sit, and if the level is greater than four, it's gonna change the level by one, change the move five, it's gonna grow by 25, and huh. good job, feed me more, and then That's otherwise, awesome. it's gonna stop the, it's gonna say stop hand one, uh -huh. it's gonna stop the hand, right. say I'm full, yeah. it's gonna sleep, game over, and then it's gonna t tell you your time. So, All right. So, so here's a, here's a live demo, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, what was the, the most difficult part for you, learning MIT Scratch or you know Visual or? I think the hardest part was probably figuring out the costumes because okay. I had to draw it and I was using a Raspberry Pi. Oh, okay. So TV, so it was a little harder <laughs> to draw. Nice. <laughs> so interesting. Okay. So so you have to take some design classes now, huh? To, to improve the, the detail. Okay, cool. Yeah, and it was really easy to learn. Like I made huh. this in about six hours. Right. Give right. Or take. Huh. And it's just really easy to learn and okay. it's pretty awesome. Now now what's next? What, what do you what do you think what are your thoughts well, for the next generation? Right now I'm working through the my next game, I'm working on a game, I'm calling it Dragon Quest, but it's not nearly that epic. Okay. So the storyline is a, a dragon attacks the village, you're a knight and you're gonna have to go find the dragon and okay. there you're gonna be like talking to people uh -huh. and doing little mini tasks right. inside of the game in order to in, in order to find the dragon and okay. the people will give you like little hints as to where to go. Cool. So well looking forward to it. Yeah. Thanks. So thank you so much for coming to the Cleveland Mini Maker Fair. Thanks. We'll see you next year. Yeah. Thanks.